I pass. Still doing it, doing it again. Anyways, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at, I, 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 don't watch my hands. Today we have a real banger in the world of Camino gear. Something simple, thoughtful, well-designed, and ultra light. That's right, folks, we're talking about a toiletry bag or a dop kit, as some might say. Me being some. Does anyone else say that? I think so. Anyways, what I think is probably the best dop kit out there and really has a lot going for it, especially when it comes to the Peregrino and the wears and tears of the trail that you will encounter along the way. And what that has to do with the dop kit, I don't know. But it's going to put everything where you need it in the kit. When we get through with today's episode, I promise you will have the most ultimate <laughs> dop kit. I'm saying it again. On the trail. Sure to make others jealous. And green with envy. On top of sharing what I think is the best dop kit out there on the market, I will also be showing you some packing tips and some of the things I chose to bring with me on my Camino, my first and second. In between the first and second, I've learned what I shouldn't, shouldn't take. And I think I got it fine-tuned now, and I'll share it with you. So, all of this and more when we return. Hit it, hit it, hit it. First off, let's talk about efficient packing. Now, efficient packing doesn't necessarily mean ultra, ultra light, at least not to me anyways. In fact, when you see some of the stuff I pack or cram into my roll, you might be like, hey, but trust me, there's a method to my madness. So wait, so wait, so wait. Hear me out before you head to the comments and ring me out, <laughs> please. This, my friends, is the Osprey Ultra Light Roll or Dop Kit. And I, again, I think this is the best one on the market and this is, this is pretty much all you need in life. It truly is. Yeah, and you can see this one's gotten a lot of love. This has been on two Caminos with me. Not much has been on two Caminos with me. In fact, even backpacks I've switched up along the way, but this thing always comes with me. And aside from Caminos, it comes with me when I travel anywhere. Back in the day, I had your traditional top kit with a zipper top, whatnot. This, this backpacking, travel, whatever the case may be, this is the one. It, it, it checks off all the boxes. So let's look at it. First off, let's look at the material it's made out of. See this? This is 40D nylon ripstop. So it's, you know, it's bendable, it's flexible, it breathes, but most importantly, it's water resistant. It's almost waterproof, I, I'll say, but water resistant, which a good dop kit should be. And that, you know, brings me back to my dop kits I used to use back in the day, the zip up ones, some were leather, some were thicker vinyl, they didn't breathe well. With bathroom gear, especially if you're traveling day in and day out and you don't have time to dry stuff off, or if you don't have time to let stuff properly air dry, you're only putting them back in the bag, so it needs to breathe. So waterproof is not the way, water resistant, however, is. Now, aside from the 40D, you also have 210D, in the seams here, 210D double diamond ripstop holding this bag together. So super durable, super lightweight, super compactable but let's see what's inside. So you have the clip right here. This immediately you have the strap, which holds the roll together. You have a little loop on the back. You can put a clip on that. It's also a clip on the inside that you can put the clip through and dangle this from your backpack, especially if there was some leakage from the night before or whatever the case may be, allowing it to dry during the course of the day. But let's look inside this bad boy, shall we? So here you go. It's like a traditional shaving dop almost, though it's more than just that. Now, many of you have seen these. These are these have been very popular for years, this style anyways. Again, what makes this super easy is its compactness. So right when you get to, you know, if you get off the trail and you're heading to the bathroom, you want that shower, you want to, you want access to your toiletries, it's all in one place. It fits in the palm of your hand even. You can grab this right from your bag, go, unclip it, boom, drops down. And while it drops down, there is a hook right here. It's a hideaway hook. Comes right out, right there. Now this is great, especially in the shower situations on the Camino because often you're in that, you know, that cubicle, that stall alone. Yeah, well, I mean, as you would be, right? <laughs> and um, there's maybe one hook, if any hook at all, but if you can find that one hook or BYOH, well, we'll get to that soon. Uh, this is where you would hook it up. And that's why it's important this is water resistant too, because 
in the shower, water will be bouncing everywhere. And you don't want it to, um, you know, be getting into your products there or whatnot. You don't want it to be soaking your dop kit. And with this material, the water will be just pretty much bouncing off of it. Now let's look at it. We have three pockets, three primary pockets. We have two top mesh pockets, and we have one kind of sealed pocket at the bottom where you would put bigger items. And then there's also a fourth pocket right here made out of a uh, mesh fabric. So it's a stretchy mesh fabric and it's actually kind of hidden where you can actually hide stuff in there that will get through TSA. I'm not proud of it, but this did happen with me. Of course it was like for nail, a nail file and nail clippers. I know, I know, but such is the world we live in. Anyways, so I got away with carrying those on the, on the trail and I'll show you how. Um, not that that's a tip or anything like that. I'll just show you how it happened to happen. So aside from these three pockets, which again, very roomy mesh. So they dry out really fast. Whatever's in there, if you're putting a soap back in here and it's not sealed up properly or, it's, you know, whatever the case may be, it's going to breathe. It's going to dry, uh, while you are hiking during the course of the day, especially if you have it dangling off the back of your backpack, if you need, need to. Inside is a mirror also to signal a helicopter with in case you get into some trouble well on the commute. No, no, no. Which is really cool. Um, this would be, you know, this is great for women, great for men, for shaving. What I actually have a hack we're going to get to involving this little mirror, but it has a little piece of Velcro on the back, sticks right to that piece of that Velcro tag on the inside. Super convenient. It's made out of plastic, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. It does have this carnival hall of mirrors type vibe too, if you bend it. So if you're looking for some cheap entertainment, this might be it. But yeah, so I thought that's really cool. It includes a mirror. This is especially important if you want to shave along the way because you can find razors here and there. Maybe you want to grow the beard out. A lot of people just go like mountain man. That includes women. But if you are, you know, a little more vain, like me, I do don't have a neck beard, folks. I, I do shave, believe it or not, despite the beard. So this comes in very handy for me, especially as a shower shaver. But again, we'll get to that. Um, for women as well, if you need for makeup or whatever, moisturizer, whatever you, what you find yourself doing, uh, super handy and you don't have to worry about bringing another mirror or a compact or whatever the case may be. I say whatever the case may be a lot, don't I? I do. Super excited about this. Mesh pockets, gusseted mesh pockets. So in case it does, you do have bulky stuff, it will bulge out, uh, conform with that. However, remember this is a roll, so you don't want to overpack this, which is possible. And I may be doing that in a second to show you what I brought with me. Again, mesh pockets down here. And as you can see, still have it toenail clippers they made it through tsa they actually were looking at one point in spain for uh this nail file i think they're like do you and they just couldn't see that pocket they didn't realize that was a pocket there and it's also right on the fold so you don't want to put too much stuff in there but it is for small like low profile uh things will fit in there nicely um again i'm not encouraging to smuggle anything into spain but now that you could anyways and then the, obviously this bigger bottom pocket which is great for shampoos deodorants and other products such as that. And that, and that, when that's all packed, you just roll it up. Well, this, again, this hook, you know, I should show you actually, where this hook is hidden right here. There's also a lot of room in there too, which is the size of this pocket. So it's like a, like double jacketed almost. So you could, in theory, I don't know what you would put in there, but you could, it's just more space to pack something. Again, you don't want to overpack this, but something to consider. Anyways, the hook tucks back in there. So it's out of the way. Look at that. And this rolls up. Clips just like that. Now, but it's really great. The multiple pockets really make this a work of pure magic. A Camino miracle, if you will. You could use just a Ziploc bag. I've seen many pilgrims just keep it really simple. Toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, um, whatever you want to bring with you in a Ziploc, just they simplify it. For those there of us that are a little more complicated, this might be the choice for you. Super lightweight and won't take up, I mean, barely takes up any space in your backpack. You could keep this in the brain of your backpack, the top pocket, the fold over pocket. Again, you want to have it within reach when you need it. So you don't have to think at all when you get to Camino. Chances are you won't be thinking much at all when you can be exhausted. So grab this, head to the bathroom, hit the showers, don't forget your towel, and you're good to go. Now, before we move on to my packing list, I guess you could say, let's look at my quick, easy, super easy hack. Uh, it's a no-brainer hack. 
that I'm going to share with you. So, as mentioned before, it does have a mirror included. Ooh, that was a comb. A mirror in included. You will observe the Velcro on the back. What I've done is I've gone ahead and... What have I done? What have I done? So I thought, hey, this is pretty cool, but how can I get the most out of this? Again, we're trying to get the most of our products here. It's difficult to, you know, especially if you're shaving, if you're a man watching this, you know that hands are involved with shaving. It's just, it's not something you do with just one hand, especially if you're skin pulling. That's the thing in shaving, trust me. Moving the beard out of the way. You need both hands. So, you know, oftentimes you're going to be in a stall with nothing on it, maybe a hook if you're lucky. And uh, so, yeah, no place to rest the mirror. Now, there is a little loop uh, hole there, and you could tie a string around it and hang it from something. So keep that in mind. That may be a hack right there. Tie a string around it or put maybe uh, some dog tag chain around this. So you could loop it over said hook if said hook is there. But let's not rely on said hook. Let's stop saying said hook, in fact. Not said hook, in fact. Said hook, in fact, would be a great band name, but that's not what we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about a hack. So, Velcro on the back. These are suction cups. I know what you're thinking. Suction cups and Velcro, what the age. These can be found on Amazon anywhere, super cheap, eBay. Even your local hardware store may carry suction cups. That said, what I've done is I've just picked up Velcro, adhesive Velcro, and I stuck it to the other cup. So what, I'm, what you have here is this. Stick to the mirror, and now with the suction cup, I just stick it to the inside of the stall, the shower stall, or wherever I need this to be stuck. And now I'm hands-free, I'm shaving, I'm doing whatever I need to do, moisturizing, putting on my lipstick, whatever the case may be. I said it again. It makes everything much easier. Hands-free operation. So along with the mirror in the top pocket, I also put this suction cup with Velcro. Boom, just like that. So that's the first thing I pack. And that's the first hack. Now, some things to consider bringing with you. Now, this is an unpopular opinion. You will see in the forums, people say, don't bring anything with you. You can find everything you need in Spain. Spain's a first world country, yada, yada, yada. They sell toothpaste, of course. They sell toothbrushes. Don't, you don't need to bring any of that stuff with you. It's all there. Well, that may be true. What is in fact there is limited. They do have toothpaste. They have a big tube of toothpaste. They do have shampoo. They have a big bottle of shampoo. So know that... Yeah, those products are there. They're not the size that you as a pilgrim want. So you can still bring stuff with you. No one's going to judge you. If you can find travel size things, still bring them with you. That's the way to go. Two small travel tubes of toothpaste are better than one big hey! tube of toothpaste that you're going to pick up in Spain. That same thing can be said for shampoo. You'll find shampoos there. They can't full size. So bring the small travel size shampoos and conditioners with you as well. Also, as with someone with hair, problematic hair, I have special conditioners and shampoos I prefer. So bring that with you. Don't rely on it being in Spain because a lot of the, unless you're in a big city, you're going to be relying on small, almost general stores where it's slim pickings. And again, they don't sell, I've never found any travel size stuff there. Now I'm sure someone's in the comment below that they have. I never have. And I've, I've checked on both my trips, never found the stuff. So I was always glad that I brought travel size products with me. So do that folks. First and foremost, toothbrush. This is a travel toothbrush. Now this might be too bulky for some, or it might be just right for others. Um, so you don't need to bring the case. You can just bring the toothbrush part. Ultralight hikers, what they'll do is just cut the handle off their toothbrush. Here is, and it would end up being something like this size. This is actually an ultralight toothbrush. It's got a fat base like that. I actually find it hard to use though. I sent this back. Um, it wasn't all that in the bag of chips, as they say. But, and you know, and it doesn't come with this little cover. This little cover, I got on a toothbrush in a hotel. It came with, uh, you know, this sometimes, and this was on another trip. So, but I, I held on to it because I knew that for a travel toothbrush, I might want that just to protect my brush a little better. So, yeah, it, I, it, good idea is, is a brand new one. You can get this a couple different places, maybe Amazon, uh, garage grown gear, ultralight toothbrush. If this is for, you know, if you, something you might like, I just couldn't, I couldn't, it just doesn't function that well for my sausage fingers. So if you have smaller hands, that might be a thing for you. Here's another one. This means another collapsible travel toothbrush. I didn't take this with me. It's just too bulky. What I did do though is again, 
I got this in a hotel. It's a lightweight, thin toothbrush that fits super easy inside here. Put it in there, figure it out until you need it. So that's what I brought with me when it comes to toothbrushes. If you're someone who travels a lot, stays at hotels, and they offer free toothbrushes there, they're usually cheap, lightweight, small, throwaway toothbrushes. Save those. Collect them. Seriously, start collecting stuff, sample size stuff from hotels or wherever you go. Brings us to soaps. Like these little hotel soaps, these are awesome. Whenever I go to a hotel, I'm that guy. Be that guy. But, you know, because I'm going to use this, especially the first, like, week on the Camino. I only need, like, one of these. If there is a particular body soap that you do enjoy, though, cut it up. Cut it, you know, quarter it up. Just cut it into a little sample size soap. Wrap it in saran wrap and bring that with you. My background is in body products. So this is something I created. It's pretty much a multi-purpose soap. I call it the Peregrino, Peregrino's Multi-Purpose Miracle Soap. Did I say that right? I think I did. I did. You can use this for everything. Shampoo, laundry detergent, everything. And I've created two types, a scent-free one and one that is scented, but it's scented with essential oils that actually repel bed bugs. So choose one or the other, which is great for washing clothes with, keeps the bed bugs away, and great for washing your hair with keeps the bed bugs away but yeah functions as both laundry detergent uh shampoo body wash it's multi-purpose soap so this will save you space and you don't even need to bring it in the tin although i do recommend bringing it in the tin but it's that big and this will last you the entire camino depending on how you know how much you use it but again the alternative is collecting hotel soaps there's also the alternative of buying soaps i think this one called magnum or magno in spain it's a very famous one, very traditional one there. I love the sense of that. But you could buy a full bo uh, bar of that with other pilgrims and cut it up and just, you know, give everyone a little wedge of it. And that'll probably last you your entire trip. That's my soap tip. Next is you know, this. This is like a super small, lightweight, I believe it's Korean, a Korean uh, wash scrub. It's got a little, a little pocket. You can either put soap in there and use it to, you know, as a soap bag or just use the scrub. It's really, it's got a nice texture to it. It's great for water, deep cleansing or deep cleaning, exfoliating. It's really nice. And after a long day on the trail, when you got, you know, dust and dirt stuck in all the little crevices, and this really gets in there and it feels great. The skin just comes alive after using it. So lightweight, small, rolls up, dries super fast. I stick this in here. Next we have some soaps by Sea to Summit. Now these, you've probably seen these before. They sell these at REI, EMS, all the outdoor stores. They're just little sheets of... Well, so this one is a shampoo. Look at that. I brought these with me. Um, I would probably use two or three of these. And the tip is, is take these out before you get into the shower. Don't try opening this up in the shower or anywhere around the sink. Take this out, put it back in your pouch. And then you just wet this in your hands, work it into a lather, then work it into your hair. Or if it's the body soap, work it into your skin. I do have a body soap one. Uh, this is a pocket hand wash. Same idea, same, same concept, just the sheets. But yeah, try to take, remove it with a dry hand and put the case away and, and just work with this. They also make a laundry detergent too that I'll get to in a future episode, a clothes washing episode. But yeah, see the summit. So if you're going super lightweight, this might be something to consider. Used it on my first Camino. Ended up buying soap somewhere along the way. Just didn't, didn't do it for me, but it might work for you. So consider that, I'll put a link below. Another thing is this small little pack towel. Now this doesn't go in my dop kit, but I thought I'd bring it up anyway since we're talking about bathroom stuff. Uh, this never came with me, but it might be something you like. It is small, you know, you could probably use this as a body towel too. I hate to say it, but I mean, I've seen pilgrims using those astronaut blankets rather than a sleeping bag to sleep at night. So if, if that's you or something you been known to do this might be something you'd be known to dry off with as well or might consider drying off with you know it's small enough but not small enough for me to consider using on that trip but again if you're just if you're going to use this for a washcloth or a, a towel and not bring a regular size towel with you or a larger towel this might be something to consider so this is called pack towel and you can find this at ems rei amazon but fits in this small little bag could be could be something for you now this is a very important tip s hooks s hooks because like i mentioned in the beginning oftentimes you'll find yourself in a shower stall and there is no hook so byoh bring your own hook i know it's just something you want to bring but they're light they don't take up much space it fits right inside like this would live in the big pocket 
of my dop kit. Just like that. And so if I found myself in a shower, and you will, trust me, you will, uh, with no hooks, I had them with me. Just hook it over the door, hook it over the wall, and then I would hook my dop kit by this hook right to it. Thank me later on that. It'll happen. Just remember to take it with you when you leave. Oftentimes, pilgrims will leave those behind. Another thing, a little hack to consider is a stopper. This stopper is a little bit too big, but it's the one I have close at hand. Just to demonstrate, you could keep a small stopper in your dop kit too. If, because a lot of the sinks there don't have stoppers. Not that you're going to be washing your face in it, but you will be washing your clothes in that sink or in another sink that won't have a stopper. And I have some hacks around that too, if you don't have a stopper. But just one standard size stopper. They're a little bit smaller than this. You can buy multi-packs on Amazon. I'll have a link below. But keep maybe one if you want to, if you don't mind carrying the extra weight. They don't really weigh that much. But it's something to consider. And you'll be glad you did if you do find yourself in a sink with no stopper and you need to wash your clothes or wash your face or whatever the case may be. But something small. There's room enough in here to keep it. Now, about bringing stuff with you. You could bring sample size stuff. You might not be able to find your favorite products in sample size. So you would just create your own sample sizes. This is a Kitsch travel like tube. I put shampoo in this. Actually, I think I put conditioner in this, but you can put whatever you want. Super easy to fill. So something to consider travels well and it doesn't open up. That said, however, when you're done filling this up, make sure you squeeze out all the air before you put the lid back on. Just the less air in there, in there the less chances of it bursting or which I don't think it will, you know, and also you could just bring these empty with you. And when you buy full-size products in Spain, if you have a, a communal family by that time and you might be sharing products, you can just fill this up with that full-size and then pass it on to someone else or leave it in the shower. Uh, it'll be appreciated by somebody. I, I know it will. Then there are the tiny travel jars. These come in really handy for product. You can put moisturizer in here, your favorite moisturizer. Uh, one of these got me through an entire Camino, not with moisturizer, but with sunblock. Sunblock is very important. Actually, it wasn't sunblock like body sunblock, it was facial sunblock. It was moisturizer slash sunblock. But I filled this up with that and it got me through the entire Camino, four weeks at least. And then um, another one. And it's good also to, to, you know, I found these at a, a supermarket. You can find these online. But it's good to have different colored ones. My first Camino, I had, they were all black lids. So it's confusing them. All creams seem to look the same, uh, when you, especially when you need one and you're looking for it. Like, if I was putting moisturizer on my face, trying to be diaper cream, it was awkward. So, super easy to fill, travel with. They're low profile, so they fit in these pockets. Great. I'll have links below. There is also... Here's another... Another... This is Kitsch. So, this is another... It's a soft silicone bottle. This might be too big. It was too big for me, so I didn't bring this. What I was interested in was... I'll see this more. Here's another travel jar this one's black if, if you couldn't tell this this was a little spray bottle actually this isn't the one i brought the one i brought was smaller and thinner does it liquid inside and there's liquid inside here this is good for like witch hazel rubbing alcohol cologne even if you want to bring it with you but um yeah having a spray bottle if you need one this could be the solution. And this is actually the two-in-one sunblock I brought with me. And I highly recommend it. I'll actually put a link below for this as well. It's called La Roche Posse. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I think I might be though. Actually, I'm probably not. I think it's French. And my French, oh, I don't have any French. But it's double repair face moisturizer UV. So it's got an SPF of 30. But not only that, it has prebiotic thermal water in it. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's awesome. Yeah, prebiotic skincare. SPF 30, you're gonna need, you're definitely gonna need a sunblock on your face. Your arms may be covered with sleeves, may not be. In that case, I recommend keeping a, you know, a full spectrum sunscreen on you at all times too. And this can be, this can, since this is a packet, you can get a pack, tiny packets of sunblock and keep these in your sling bag or keep them in the pockets of your hip belt or keep them in your dop kit as well. Just until you find a full size one because you're not going to find a travel one in Spain. But yeah, you're going to need sunblock. But back to La Roche Posay. This is a two in one moisturizer. So just pretty much treat this as a moisturizer. Put this on in the morning before you leave and you'll always have sunblock on you. But yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. It's dermatologist tested, safe for sensitive skin. It doesn't sting your eyes. I know some sunblocks I put on my forehead, I put on my entire face. If I sweat my forehead, it drips down to my eyes and suddenly I'm blind. 
That ever happened to you? It's happened to me. It's actually happening driving too. Super dangerous experience. I don't even want to get into it. In fact, I've just set myself back in therapy. Moving ahead, double repair face moisturizer. So it's oil free, fragrance free, and it contains ceramide three and niacinamide. It's also won't upset the skin. It's, yeah, you, if you have sensitive skin, this is probably the one for you. Prebiotic skincare, as I've already mentioned, the power of unique water. Let's, let's get all this stuff on the side of the box, as they typically do. Highly recommend this brand, good stuff. Maybe a little pricey, totally worth it. This I would put in the little jars and I was good to go for the entire trip. Then there's also, again, sample sizes. This little Nivea cream is a facial moisturizer too, because you do get dry there. You, you definitely, I, at least I did, and found this in the sample section at my local supermercado. But whatever whatever is your go-to, go to it. I will say I brought a, um, I bought also these little tubes by Matador. I don't actually have one on me. Uh, actually, this is what they look like. Ah, the magic of post-production. But yes, these were actually a really great idea. However, the caps I found, not the most durable plastic, and there's nothing against Matador. It's just that in a roll like this, you have product next to product because of the nature of the bag. So if, you know, being in your backpack, being pushed around all day, stuff gets crushed, the, the caps of those tubes did not hold up. However, I thought it was a great idea uh, for sunblock, for toothpaste, whatever. I could transfer stuff from full-size things into these small tubes and bring them with me. I actually brought one empty one with me too to do just that. And then when I didn't use it, I tried sending it home, but the post office told me it would get stopped because it looks like a tube of product, even though it was empty. I don't know. So the refillable tubes by Matador, if you're gonna use them in the, if you're gonna store them in the roll, I don't think they're gonna last for you. Tissue. 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 Just in case you get to one of those uh, albergues or get to an albergue that doesn't have any tissue at all. And that, that can happen depending on where you're staying, but it can happen. So maybe you do wanna keep some in here. Along with the products I just showed you, I also had a tube of deodorant, which you can buy in Spain. However, if you have a favorite deodorant or one you'd like to bring with you, bring it. Stuff you would normally fill your toiletry bag with, small travel sizes. And again, if you make a comment in a forum group, people are gonna, you know, come at you saying, don't worry about it, you can get everything you need there in Spain. You can... No, for me, yeah, sure. While you can find that stuff, just to repeat myself, because I think it's important. It's not gonna be travel size, it's not gonna be small, it's gonna be bulky. It's not gonna be efficient. It's gonna be a waste of money at the end of the day because you're gonna have to leave it behind because you can't carry a big thing of shampoo, a big thing of moisturizer, a big bar of soap. You can't fit all that, it's not. So, travel sizes for the win. Oh, another thing to, uh, tip to consider is if you are carrying bottles of liquids with you inside your DOP kit, liquids and lotions and whatnot, what I do recommend is keeping them all with the cap facing the same way. Meaning, okay, for an example, this cap is right here. Keep it facing up. Um, here's another product, let's say. Keep this cap facing up, all fish in the same direction. And then when the bag is rolled up, clipped up, don't store it flat in your bag. Store it up like this. Cause you know that all the tops are facing up like this, just to, for a little bit of insurance. If anything does happen to them now, you could put your, those products also in a Ziploc too with inside this roll. But if you're not, keep them all facing the same direction and just store it up like this. So if anything does happen, if the, if the lid does crack or something happens, a seal breaks, it's not gonna drip all over your stuff in your bag. Well, it has less chance of doing that if it's all standing upright in your upright stored roll top kit. Does that make sense? I think so. Another super hack that I will also be covering in a future episode based on security is great place to store an extra credit card. If you, I mean, it's always good to have a extra credit card. I think so anyways, hidden somewhere on your belongings. The last place most people are going to check is inside your dop kit. And not only that is when you do leave your backpack alone, it's typically when you take a shower. However, this is the one thing that comes with you everywhere you go. It's in your backpack while you're on the tra uh, trail. It's also in the shower with you. So you can keep an uh, extra credit card in maybe in a Ziploc or whatever, but hidden in one of these pockets. Maybe in this pocket right here at the top that we talked about. But actually, I don't know how you would get that in and out. Doesn't matter. So consider that too as an extra level of security, I guess. Cash security, credit security. Another hack thrown your way. So that's pretty much it, folks. 
I really can't stress how important it is to utilize a dop kit or a toiletry roll. This is really, it's the way to go. And that's it, you know, really. In shared accommodations like albergues, having all your toiletries in one place is gonna sh save you time at the end of the day. Time that you're gonna need for laundry, that you're gonna need for that shower, that you're gonna need for finding food, foraging, whatever you're doing, this will save you time. You'll there'll be less rummaging around. It's all in one place. Just grab it and run to the showers. Same thing goes for the morning. It's just, it's great to have everything in one place. You can just grab it. It's super efficient. It's gonna save you time getting out the door. So there you have it, folks. The Osprey Ultra Light Toiletry Roll. I'll have a link below for this. I think it comes in two or three colors too. So definitely gets two thumbs up. I'd give it another thumb up if I had one. That was cringy. But this is my secret weapon for a well-organized, stress-free bathroom adventure. <laughs> adventure. Bathroom adventure. But if you found this video helpful, please, folks, give us a like. Comment below. I would love to read your comments on what you actually bring in your dub kit on your trips. Be it a Camino, be it hiking, whatever the case may be, leave your comment below and I'll read it. And gosh darn it, I'll respond too. And also subscribe to the channel. That really helps. That helps get it in front of eyes. Needful eyes. Eyes that need. Hungry eyes, as Patrick Swayze once said. I believe him.